Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another episode of Shake and Stir. My name is Ashanti. Today we're going to be going over a very classic cocktail known as the Mai Tai. Uh, the Mai Tai is a tiki cocktail that comes from a tiki era uh, from a man named Victor Bergson, uh, who's famously known as Trader Vic, uh, around the 1940s. A uh, little uh, rumor about this cocktail is that in its induction in 1944, it supposedly started a uh, rum depletion in the world because of its popularity. Um, that being said, back to the cocktail, the Mai Tai is a very uh, varied cocktail. You'll see a lot of different styles uh, depending on the bar you're at or the bartender that's serving you. Uh, but the standard uh, built for this cocktail is going to be one ounce white rum, one ounce dark rum, half ounce orange liqueur or orange carousel, half ounce orgeat or orge, and a half ounce of fresh lime juice. Um, so that being said, this cocktail should be yours. Make it how you feel. Uh, as long as you're keeping the same composition, a tiki uh, style cocktail should be fruity, airy, bright, and sweet. Um, so make sure that you're trying to keep that same build and methodology around the cocktail if, if you're going to mix it up a bit. For example, instead of just using a simple white rum, I use a coconut white rum and then a black strap dark rum uh, as my variant. Uh, that being said, let's begin. We'll first start with a half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Even the glass itself is really up to you. Some people use a rocks glass, some people use a Collins glass, some people even, uh, they even have special tiki style glasses that uh, people like to see their uh, tiki drinks in. Next we'll go with a half ounce of orange liqueur. ounce of orge or orja, which is an almond liqueur. And then one ounce of my coconut rum. Again, uh, feel free to use whatever rums you think are best, uh, but I'm using a coconut rum just to appreciate that tropical look feel and flavor that uh, the guest is expecting when they order this cocktail. Now I'm going to fill my shaker tin with ice. As you may have noticed, I didn't put my uh, black rum in yet. I'm going to put that in as a floater on top so that there is a more color uh, contrast appreciation there. a dirty pour on this cocktail just because I want there to be a nice full body in this drink. Crush one more ice cube on top. Get our one ounce of black strap rum. Now to do a nice floater layer, you can always use the the bottom part of your uh, your spoon, the back end of your spoon, to help break up some of that surface contact. And for your garnish, once again, feel free to express yourself and customize. Uh, for this one, I'm using an orange peel 
uh, Luxardo Cherry, an Orange Twist, and a Mint Spray. Uh, because again, this is supposed to be a very eye-catching cocktail, and you want uh, the guests to really appreciate the effort you put into it. Go ahead and softly add that straw in, and you have yourself a Mai Tai cocktail. Thank you.